now that we can do simple elementary numerical problems using Little's law, let's try to do something which is slightly more complex. So this is um, a question about Snowy Village. Um, they have 100% occupancy and um, they have uh, 800 hotel rooms. Uh, and uh, the skiers uh, stay in that hotel rooms for five days on an average. And uh, so how many tourists enter the resort per day? Now, let's start thinking Little's Law, right? 800 rooms. Rooms is something static. It does not move. It's something which is there. It's like inventory, people. So very clearly I know that rooms here is the L, right? So I have 800 rooms. Next, I start, well, what's, what's, they stay for five days, right? So five days, days is a unit of time. Anything in a unit of time is a wait time. So it comes by W, which is five days. And um, so what, what it's essentially asking me, how many resort, what's the average enter the resort per day? So anything which is per is, is, is a rate per time. So I need to find A. And um, yeah, that's pretty simple. I, I'm, I'm sure we are that good now. We can say A is equal to L by W and um, we get the number of 160 tourists per day. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so, but next part. What they say is um, they have uh, 13,050 tourists um, in a season of 90 days. Now, if you think of what this, this question is trying to tell us something. 13,050 tourists in 90 days. So stop the video, pause it a bit and try to think, what does this tell us? Well, if you've thought of it, it's essentially telling us how many tourists actually arrive at the snowy village per day. And uh, so I can calculate my actual A, actual rate of arrival, which I call as A1, as uh, 145 tourists per day. Now I know that. Very good, that done. What would be the average utilization of the 800 rooms? So I have 800 rooms and uh, how many of those would be utilized for 145 tourists? So now I need to calculate the new utilization. So I need to find the actual L. How many of those 800 L's are being utilized? So I do the calculation for L, which is pretty straightforward and find that I use, uh, the snowy village ends up using 725 rooms. And the utilization of the, is a simple calculation of what actually is done versus what could be done. So what's the, what's actually done divided by the maximum capacity to do something. So the utilization calculated like that gives us a number of um, uh, 0 0.9062 or 90.62%. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that question is answered utilization and uh, Snowy Village wants to restrict the utilization to 75% in a bit. I'll tell you why. So how many rooms should they plan for? Uh, well, in that case, 725, the number should be 75%. It should not be 90%. So I use the very elementary mathematics to say that if I want to have 75% utilization with 725 um, rooms being required, I should plan for 977. We round it up, 977 um, rooms. So yeah, this is, uh, like I said, a slightly more involved uh, uh, numerical using Little's Law. And the idea here we need to understand is that uh, we are working on the basis of average. I'm not saying that I have exactly 145 uh, tourists every day or that every tourist stays for exactly five days. These are averages and all averages have peaks. And sometimes you plan for lower utilization so that we can take care of the peaks. Um, that's about it for this simple problem. See you for the next one.